President Biden said today the U.S. will send another billion dollars in aid to Ukraine. It'll be the largest single shipment of weapons and equipment since the war began, including ship missile launchers and humanitarian supplies. This comes as a train carrying food to people in Ukraine was struck by a Russian missile. On board, food being delivered by D.C.-based nonprofit World Central Kitchen. Fox 5's Marina Morocco spoke with the organization tonight and joins us live now from the newsroom. Guys, this all happened less than a mile away from a passenger train station in Ukraine's Donetsk region. That's in the country's east where most of the offensive still continues. And celebrity chef and organization founder Jose Andres tweeting pictures of the damage this morning. You can see just how extensive that was. He says one train car with 30 to 40 tons a food donation was destroyed. Fortunately, CEO Nate Mook says food on the rest of the train is salvageable. This food is a critical lifeline to families, especially in the East, because they don't have access to anything else. There are no markets open. Um, there are, of course, no jobs right now. And so uh, people, especially seniors, really rely on this food. So we're going to try to get replacement food in very, very quickly. And this humanitarian operation relies on a massive network of volunteers on the ground in Ukraine. And with all of their help put together, they deliver as many as a million meals per day. We have uh, close to 4,300 team members in Ukraine that are working uh, almost entirely a Ukrainian force. So this is our kitchens that are working. We have our people in our warehouses. We have staff and volunteers that are driving and distributing food. Um, just an incredible army of food fighters in Ukraine right now. And that's how we're able to do what we're doing. And World Central Kitchen says more and more sources of humanitarian aid in Ukraine are being targeted by Russia. Fortunately, no one was injured in this attack. The CEO there expects the rail to be repaired soon and says food deliveries, they will continue.